what's up guys? Of course, we welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with Jostrel, of course, that's Garander. And yes, we're going up against Eric Cora, other known as Ash K on his YouTube channel. And of course, as always, I will link his channel down below. Besides that, yeah, here's actually going in the Lithium League right now for uh, the gym badges, which is actually completed already. So make sure to check out his content in his struggle there. And uh, he will eventually meet me as a League 4 member, which is going to be really, really interesting and funny as always. Um, and obviously, I still have my UU team and uh, yeah, he wanted to battle. Or rather, I was looking for battles and he responded. Uh, so he's bringing Flojes, Beedrill, Madibus, Cloyster, oh, Cloyster, huh? Roserade and Rotom Heed. So we do share at least Rotom and um, we both actually felt that Rotom was the easier lead here, which is actually kind of funny. Uh, Toxicroak, Aerodactyl, Empoleon, um, Hydreigon and Machamp. Now Machamp is actually going to struggle this game with both Lordius and Mandibus. He can keep it at bay really and um, will o from Rotom would be super super annoying. So Gaius the Machamp is going to be a bit laid back this game, he needs to uh, get a good entry and um, also need to have good health in case his Cloyster shell smashes since it's my only Pokemon with a real priority. Toxicroak has Sucker Punch but not as reliable as Bullet Punch would actually just hit. So yeah, besides that I need to get up my rocks and do the best I can. So pretty much we're gonna go guns blazing. So everybody, enjoy! So right, I really like this intro because that showcased that we both actually thought Rotom was the best lead for us both. Now, remember, I am timid fully speed, so I knew I was going to outspeed, unless his scarf, which shows me here, of course, that he is. And that's completely fine, really, because Rotom not necessarily packs a whole lot of punches since I have Hydreigon around, and with, <laughs> actually, man, what do you call him? The Mammoth Swine not in Born this game, I actually have a big chance of actually being able to deal with my opponent. Now Volt Switch of course will not do a whole lot against the Flodius. And that was a crit people, that was a crit. That did nothing. So anyway, I'm gonna go to Gatler, the Toxic Rogue. Pretty much force him out with a gun shot because that cleanly takes him out. Um, I could have gone for the, for the Sword Stance but since he has the Mandibus, I know I'm nowhere near a 2 hit KO area with that. I like that do land your gun shot, of course, and it does, you know, decent. Uh, that's definitely a defensive mana bus of anything, and there's really nothing I can do. Luckily, I do get it poisoned, but um, it hardly will help me out, is what I'm trying to say. So, my best switch near is the Empoleon, and my opponent actually see this one coming and played a really, really nice switch here back to his Rotom. Which of course means that I can't get up my rocks, or I could risk it, but why would I? And uh, as of right now, my best switch in here is actually to bring back the, my own Rotom. And he's actually gonna go for a trick here, which is kinda nice. Because now I'm Scarfed and I really don't... Um, I don't feel bad about that, or I don't lose anything by it. So I'm gonna go for Volt Switch myself here, doing pretty much the same play he did <laughs> against me. And I'm gonna bring Hydreigon here. Hydreigon is actually kind of decent this game. It um, it lacks kind of a, the oppression, but it can do a lot. Uh, now I will get leftovers in of my life orbs. He kept going for that, which is completely fine. So his scarf is now gone. He can't pretty much get it back, so he's gonna bring the Helen, and I just kind of thought that, you know, it was likely that he was gonna do this play, so I went for Flash Cannon. And what do you know? It's not a 2-hit kill, but he does lose Special Defense, so now I kind of know I can take him out, even with Left Orbs Recovery. Um, or rather, it's a big chance I can take him out, so I'm gonna risk it to go for another Flash Cannon. And, uh, shit. He does live it. Luckily for me, he doesn't go for the Moonblast. The Moonblast would just have destroyed this poor guy, so I am really, really lucky here that he decided to uh, save his uh, Manibus by getting that unpoisoned. But anyway, there's really nothing to do here, he's gonna try to get some recovery. And I think I just kept going. Uh, I actually went for, oh, I went for Dark Pulse. I was predicting him to switch out trying to save it, but now I get enough HP where I think I has to go for Flash Cannon. He's a whole gonna switch out. And gonna go into Robert, which is the Rosary. And yeah, there's a flash cannon. And um, 
Yeah, he will not take that that well, but Dark Pulse is slightly better and uh, we're getting there. Unlucky for me, I don't get the flinch, but the Sludge Bomb will not take me out, luckily. But I do miss my life orb here. I really believe my life would have helped a lot here. So anyway, there's really no reason for me to really switching out. I'll just keep going. Um, if I lose my Hydreigon, I can just freely go into my Aerodactyl and get my Mega Evolution going, which is really all I wanted since Aerodactyl actually outspeed this guy. So Greenlish, the monster, the beast, the Mega Pokemon I barely use is gonna get his honest chance of Mega Evolving. And of course, just gonna go for Wing Attack and finish off the Rose Raid. And um, yeah, I mean, he's still got the Mana Bus, he's still got the Cloister, so I still have issues, no matter what, really. So um, all I can do is stay on the, in the Cloister, hoping it is a Focus Sashed, and um, take it from there. Now, he will pull a double switch, hoping I would switch out, but actually, I had no reason to, or rather, I would rather get damage on this Cloister and then not. But um, Stone Edge might be overdoing it. Stone Edge might be overdoing it. Um, but that's really the best I got. I really <laughs> felt that. So I gotta try that one more time and Aerodactyl miss. So yay! Shit. So that was really, really not good. And Ice Skull Spear is, of course, in range of taking me out, even without the Shell Smash. And um, that's bad. That's really, really, really bad. So I'm gonna force Gaius in here because I wanna bring it down to its Sash and uh, hope he hurts himself in confusion. Now he does not wanna play that game and I'm fine with that. So he's gonna bring Biggie, the Manibus, and we're gonna see some boom! Gonna go boom! Time <laughs> punch! <laughs> Alright, that might be a bit overkill. But yeah, I actually do a decent amount of damage here. I am so close of killing him. And I actually decided here to um, switch out and hoping he hurts himself with confusion because I really don't want to force the guys into a Brave Bird. I just, I'm not there. So Cryomill is gonna come in and um, this is the point that we both realize that he can't do anything against the Empoleon. Now that, um, I mean, he has, still has, I do believe, Rotom, um, but. Um, he can switch that in on a potential skull. So unlucky for me, he does pull off the roost here and does not hit himself with confusion, which is, um, you know, by all sense and purposes, fine. I actually decided to go for rocks anyway, so not like it does matter. But yeah, like I said, not a lot happening here. Not a lot happening here. We're actually gonna speed this part up a little bit. Because the thing is here, he's gonna go for defogs and stuff like that. And I'll just, I'll try to attack him and I try to do something against him, but nothing is happening. Nothing is happening at all. Um, I was really hoping for a skull burn, but it never landed. Uh, now he will switch his thing while I keep going for skull because I thought that it seemed to be weird for me to actually try to do anything differently. Um, so here he is. Here he is. Here's a mega, 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 mega beat drill. And it's going to overuse her, and that does a good chunk of damage. I think I just kept going for Skulls. So Beak is going to come back on. And no, I actually went for a layer of Stealth Rocks. Ha, how about that? Anyway. <laughs> I will now at least predict him to go for Defog and go for Water and Ice Beam myself. But like I said, there is really nothing we can do against one another. I basically am better off uh, attacking him than going for Hazards, because he'll just, he can't hurt me, and... Uh, he can just stall me out, and he knows that, and that must be extremely frustrating that Empoleon out of nowhere became such a beast in this game. So we'll keep roosting, that's fine, and I think I scold him. And like I said, I was fishing for a burn here, and I, I think I do seven skulls in this game. I don't pull off any, I don't get any burns, which is, uh, is a very hacks-free game, even till that point. So anyway, he's going to bring the oven, hoping that I went for another layer of ice beam, but no. Keep scolding. Like I said, fishing for that burn. Luckily though, he will get a free switch into his B-Drill, which actually is the only Pokemon that they can potentially take me out with a drill run. And I knew that too, so I'm, I'm basically staying in. And yeah, he got a crit, sure, but it doesn't take me out. And uh, yeah, boom. <laughs> there he is, he's gone, he's gone. But at least now I'm in low enough HP where anything can take me out. And of course Poseidon is going to try that out. So he's going to Shell Smash on me. 
And yeah, I, um, I am not scared. I am not scared right now because I have priority. I'll, you know, consider another game I had not too long ago where a cloister destroyed me, which was really important. So this felt really good. Cloister, who's the bitch now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but actually you're just gonna take me out. I actually live three rock blasts, which I've actually thought was really funny. Um so right, I'm gonna bring Gaius here and there is really nothing he can do. He will decide to switch out though. Um and I'm gonna go for a bullet so bullet punch, which of course will do just about nothing. Um it's still a banded um bullet punch, but I'm still, you know, <clears throat> not that um Bullet Punch is still not that good of a move. So anyway, he'll just go for a straight on for Brave Bird. I'm gonna bring a road and pretty much finish off this game. There's really nothing I can do now since since it scarfed me, uh, neither Cloister nor his mana bus will be able to outspeed me. I'm actually I have no speed investment whatsoever. Or actually, sorry, this is I have a teammate one. They wouldn't outspeed anyway. I lied to you guys. This is of course a teammate set. So anyway, boom bada boom, and that's the game. So yeah. <laughs> It was a very rough game actually, and Polio just came out of nowhere. And I think when he actually started to lose, like Rose Raid and um, oh, what were the other Pokemon? Anyway, your Flojas and stuff like that. That Polio kind of got a very, very tough spot in this game because once they were gone, there was really nothing stopping Polio outside, of course, his Beedrill, which needed prior damage to take it out and a good crit. So, yeah, I think that's why Ma well, Mammoth Swine is so common this year, because it can deal with Empoleon rather well. And of course, the fighting types in UU you can deal with uh, Empoleon, but that's real about it. It does fairly well, and it did very well here. There were very few things that actually could check it or take it out. So, Empoleon's such a beast. <laughs> and I felt really bad too for Eric, because I know he's really good in UU, and there was nothing wrong with the team, it just was... Um, the matchup was not there this game, and it was very, very, very evenly shown here that there was nothing dealing with this Empoleon. And I was quite glad I were it, because it's rarely I get the chance to use Empoleon this way. It's usually just a defogger for the team. So I'm glad once it actually wasn't. And of course, I want to thank Eric for who's playing this battle. And like I said, I'll link his channel down below. Check him out. He's actually really, really good. So, yeah. With all this, my guys, I want to thank you for watching, and um, you know, I'll have a stream tomorrow and always. So, um, check me out on Twitter if you want to follow that. And yeah, outside of that, I want to thank you for watching. I think I said it twice now. <laughs> have a good day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, take care. Bye.